Hi, I'm on P&O's Britannia on a Canary Island cruise. My cabin's a twin cabin, it's A627, it's on the 15th deck, right at the back of the ship. It's got a balcony, let me show you around. I really like the decor in the corridor actually, the brown wood and the gold, it's really nice. And that's followed through to an extent in the cabin, but let me show you first of all the wardrobe space, which I really like. It's my walk-in wardrobe right here. Plenty of hanging space here, lots and lots of hangers. I mean, it does irritate me a bit because you can't, these are the hangers that you have to lift off and it always is a bit of a faff um, to put them back on. But it's lots of space. I've got, excuse the mess, all my shoes underneath. It took a while to also work out where the wardrobe is for shelves, but hopefully you can see if I let you in there. Plenty of wardrobe space, top to bottom and a safe, excuse the mess, but we've had more time enjoying the ship rather than doing our unpacking well. Right, it makes sense to show you the bathroom now because it's right here next to the walk-in wardrobe. It's a snug bathroom, most of them normally are, but it does have something I really rather like. Actually, it's got a couple of things I really rather like. One is glass shower doors, hallelujah, I hate clingy curtains. So that's great, not only that, but the shampoo and the toiletries are all the white company, which I adore. I am a real white company fan. Shampoo, conditioner, I've got the body lotion in the bedroom, which I've been using loads already because I absolutely love it. Right, the rest of the cabin, which I'm sure you're very excited to see. Um, this is the bedroom. Bonjour. Here it is. You can have it made up as a double bed or twin beds. I'm here with my daughter, so we wanted the twin beds. The beds, I have to say, are absolutely great. Seriously, excellent mattresses, excellent pillows. I slept like a log last night, love the bed. Um, wardrobe there, which is useful, and lots of space to hide the suitcases under the bed. Let me show you. Ta-da, there you go. Everything nicely stored away. There you go. Okay, um, the Horizon newsletter, it gets given to you every night. It tells you everything that's going to be going on the next day. Very useful indeed. And uh, there's always great stuff to do. Today we're in Port and Tenerife, um, and I'll show you in a second on the balcony what that looks like. It's a very nice TV screen. We've been having way too much fun to actually even be able to watch TV or want to watch TV. And by the time we get to the cabin, we're really tired. We go straight to sleep. Right. Then there's a very nice floor to ceiling mirror. Hello, there I am. You can see behind me the table vanity area. Here's a bed. I like the artwork also above the beds. I think that's very, very pretty and the nice muted lighting. There's another mirror, nice vanity area. I can store all my stuff there. There's a drawer that I can use. There is a fridge down there, which I won't bother to open. Um, and next, we'll have a look at the balcony. It's not a massive balcony, but it's got enough space for a couple of chairs and a table. And check out that gorgeous, glistening, glittery Mediterranean. Right, last but not least, the pièce de résistance is the kettle and tea making facilities. This morning I woke up and I really wanted a cup of tea. Normally you've got to, on a lot of ships, go up to the Lido deck to go and grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee, whatever you want to drink. But I could just fill up my kettle and make myself a nice cup of PG tips. I really hope you've enjoyed my review video. If you have, please give me the thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy traveling!